praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read and meditate on a very important verse from the bible as we read psalm 104 verse 32 the verse says over here he looks on the earth and it trembles he touches the hills and they smoke isn't that wonderful hearing and reading about our mighty god yes beautiful verse indeed let us pray let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us help us be with us and bless us psalm 100 and 4 verse 32 he looks on the earth and it trembles he touches the hills and they smoke wonderful verse indeed as we see a mighty god he is the maker of heaven and earth as we read in psalm 121 which says i lift up my eyes to the hills from whence does my help come from my help comes from the lord who is the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot be moved behold he who keeps israel will neither slumber nor sleep the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade on your right hand the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night the lord will keep you from all evil he will keep your life the lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for ever more isn't that wonderful psalm yes and also we read in revelation 7:10 the word says that jesus christ is our salvation yes there is no other salvation in heaven and on earth except for jesus christ he is the way the truth and the life john 14 verse 6 is true jesus christ is our emmanuel ebenezer yahweh ire yahweh shamma yahweh el shaddai yahweh roi yahweh rafeka yeshu nasi yeshu masiha malekha malekhem he is our yeshua sarha shalom yeshua tisat kenu and yeshua tazar uzi let us always thank our living god for his faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning psalm 92 verse 2 is true as there are 20000 chariots for each one of us and much more as we read in psalm 100 also in psalm 68 also in verse 18 yes for our mighty god comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of the clouds to help you and me yes the words are living and also true as we read in revelation 21 also and as we read the mighty word is true in deuteronomy 33 verse 27 the eternal god is our refuge deuteronomy 33 verse 26 when we read the bible our mighty god speaks to us and when we pray we are speaking to our living god yes he is the god of the living not the dead and all live to him the verse is true yes as we read in luke 20 verse 38 the word is life the word is spirit john 6 verse 63 is true yes 
Our mighty God never leaves us nor forsakes us. As we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, He is our Emmanuel, God with us, and He is our Ebenezer, God will help us. The word is true which says, Be still, for the day is holy. Do not be grieved. As we read in Nehemiah 8, chapter, verse 11. For do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 is true. So my dear sister, my dear brother, you are not alone. Jesus Christ is there with you and me. He will not leave us as orphans. The word is true as we read in John 14 verse 18. For Jesus Christ is the light of the world. John 8 12. And also the word is true which says in Isaiah 45 verse 7. I form light. I create darkness. I bring prosperity. I bring calamity. I am the Lord your God who does all these things. Yes, beloved, for our mighty God is our deliverer. He is our deliverer. As we read in Jeremiah 39, the word comes twice. When the word comes twice, it is been done. As we read in Genesis 46, yes, verse 2 and 3 says, As God said to Jacob, 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 I will make you a great nation. And today we are Israel, prince with God, daughters of Zion, and also the children of God. Also, we are the friends of God and the ambassadors of Christ. Yes, we do not have to worry about tomorrow. For the word is true which says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Matthew 6 verse 34. Yes, the word is true. As the word says, why take ye thought? Matthew 6 verse 28. Come what may, do not give up. For the word is true which says in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, He will never leave us nor forsake us. The word says, be strong and be courageous. Similarly, the word says in Second Chronicles 19 verse 11, Behave courageously, for our mighty God hates cowardness. As we read in the book of Revelation, Yes, and always seek the counsel of the Lord. 1 Chronicles 14.10 For this is possible when we read the word of our living God, the Bible, the manna to our soul, the road map of life. Yes, Jesus Christ will speak to you. It is true, beloved. Yes, and also he will guide us. For also he will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel and watch over us. Let us no way become like a horse or a mule, or else the word will not keep with us. Psalm 32 is true. Yes, as we read in verse 8. Yes, beloved. And he will bless us abundantly. There will be showers of blessing. Ezekiel 34.26 When we obey our living God. Yes, with obedience is victory. Deuteronomy chapter 11 and Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 has the promises of obedience. As it says, when we love him, when we keep his commandments, we shall be the head and not the tail. He will bless our basket. We shall not borrow, but lend to the nations. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Our mighty God will provide all our needs. Yes, as we read in Genesis 22 verse 14. Genesis 22 verse 8. He is our Yahweh Ire, and he is our banner. As we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. As the word says, as we read in Acts chapter 16 verse 30 and 31. The word says that Paul and Silas were in the prison. 
and it was a situation where they were in deep really we could say in distress but no they were praising the living god and what happened is that the prison doors flung open as paul and silas were praising our living god and the philippian jailer was there who was the jail keeper and he was at a risk of losing his job so he thought of ending his life as he thought paul and silas were not there but paul and silas said we are there wait and the touch of our mighty god was present over there as the philippian jailer said sirs what shall i do to be saved as we see this point that when we obey our living god when we praise him and honor him he will also honor us and paul and silas said believe in the lord jesus christ and you and your household will be saved hallelujah isn't that wonderful and also we see that paul and silas yes they were also speaking the word of god in the tough situation let us also praise our living god in every situation as habakkuk says in 3 19 and 18 verse even though the olives fail the wines fail still i will praise the lord for he makes my feet like deer and enables me to reach great heights hallelujah exodus 40 was 38 is true as we read the mighty word yes god made a way where there was no way yes through the red sea and also 40 years we did not lack anything nor did our sandals tear nor did our clothes tear nor did our feet swell isn't it for god has provided all our needs for he brought us to the land of milk and honey where it rains from heaven the rocks are copper and the stones are iron yes that is israel and the year whole year god has care for the land yes it is true beloved so similarly let us bless the lord yes and all that is within me let us bless his holy name as psalm 103 also says in verse 1 yes come what may do not give up in life for the word is true in jeremiah 1 verse 5 god is saying even before i formed you in the womb i knew you hallelujah god knows us and he will take care of us of our past present and future for jesus christ came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance sinners like me and he has loved me he has loved you also for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son yeshu masiha on the cross for us that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life john 3:16 he is the omnipotent god who reigns revelation 19 verse 6 he is the king of king and lord of lords revelation 19 verse 16 and he has all power and authority as we read in matthew 28 and he's promised us he's with us till the end of the age even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth so let us be thankful to our living god and love him with all our heart mind soul and strength the first commandment the second as we read is love our neighbor for love is the greatest of all as we read in luke 10 25-27 and 1 corinthians 13 13 love never ends love grows and love breaks 
or barriers. Love never dies. So let us love one another. Yes, let us pray for those who are on the sick bed. Lord Jesus Christ, touch my brother, sister, children who are on the sick bed and heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Also, we pray that bless, yes, my every listener and provide all their needs. Genesis 22 verse 14 As you took our infirmities and carried our diseases and with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53 verse 5 is true. Yes, and also Matthew 8 17 is true. Bless my listener and provide them all the finances that they require today and give them a breakthrough in business, provide them the jobs and let there be peace in their house. For you are the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9 verse 6. Yes, and also we pray for the children and the youth, help them in their studies as you are the fountain of wisdom. Proverbs 9, we read in verse 10 and James 1 verse 5. We claim the promises and every word is living and true. Thank you for your word is true. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel as God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest. I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15 God bless you. Numbers chapter 6 24 to 27 Amen. Amen.